Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Tomorrow marks the first day for candidates to file for the municipal elections. Clay Gordon has the story. That's what city elections are about, defining what we want Bloomington to be. And that's why today I'm announcing that I'm running for mayor of the city of Bloomington. This morning at the John Waldron Art Center in downtown Bloomington, Mayor Mark Cruzan announced his decision to run for his third term as the city's mayor. Cruzan says he wants to keep progressing Bloomington's livability. So really doing the job is in large part running for office. I mean, an election is a bit of a referendum on how people feel that you've been doing the job. Following this morning's announcement, John Hamilton, former school board member, says he is considering opposing the mayor in the upcoming Democratic primary. I think after eight years, it's a reasonable time to explore whether fresh new ideas of progressive opportunities uh, uh, might be pursued. And I haven't made a decision, um, but I think the city has challenges ahead of us, and having that kind of discussion is a healthy thing. Hamilton will announce his decision next week. The deadline to file for office in Indiana is noon on February 18th. I'm Clay Gordon, WTIU. After the incident this weekend where a teenager was found unconscious and not breathing at the Phi Kappa Sigma Fraternity House, the IU Interfraternity Council has canceled all social events in the Greek community indefinitely. The teen was a former member of the fraternity. According to the Vice President for Communications, Josh Vollmer, the IFC made the move independently of the university, adding it was in the best interest of the Greek community and out of respect for a mourning family. IU Police Chief Keith Cash says officers found no signs of drug use at the fraternity, but did discover evidence of drug use in the victim's dorm. The victim's name and condition have not been released. Checking the weather forecast for tonight, cloudy with a 20% chance of flurries, lows in the lower 20s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, 29 degrees the high. Tomorrow night, cloudy with a 40% chance of snow, nearly steady temperatures in the lower 20s. And then in the five-day forecast, another snow event in the works on Thursday, a 100% chance of snow. The National Weather Service has issued a winter storm watch in effect late Wednesday night through late Thursday night. Total accumulations expected 4 to 6 inches with the heaviest snowfall expected during the Thursday 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. time frame. And for more on these stories and other local news, go to indianapublicmedia.org.